Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about cytosol. So cytosol is uh, considered as a subcellular organelle. So it doesn't have specific function but it is provides space rather than being a particular subcellular organelle. Right. So it is providing the uh, inside the cell, okay, uh, interstitial space. So as this providing space for the subcellular, other subcellular organelles like mitochondria, lysosomes, peroxisomes, Golgi apparatus, nucleus. So they are all suspended in cytosol. Okay. And there is no specific structure to the cytosol. And the main contents of cytosol is all subcellular organelles will be suspended in the cytosol. And it is also rich of proteins. Okay. Whatever the protein synthesized in Golgoplasmic and um, ribosomes, Golgi, plus, uh, Golgi complex, endoplasmic reticulum, they are all released into the cytosol and based on the need they will be secreted outside the cell and cytosol contains soluble cellular compounds as I mentioned they support synthesis of proteins and ribosomes which are free or bound to endoplasmic reticulum by supplying the cofactors and energy and contains enzymes of glycolysis fatty acid synthesis so as I told you glycolysis is, is takes place in cytosol and the end product of glycolysis is pyruvate and this pyruvate is not allowed to enter into the mitochondria so it has to take a u-turn uh, like pyruvate has to convert into other form that is known as cell coa and this acetyl coa is permeable by uh, to outer mitochondrial membrane and this acetyl coa is a starting substance of tca cycle it undergo oxidation further oxidation fatty acid synthesis is also the same Fatty acid synthesis is lipid synthesis and lipid degradation where it is taking place? Lipid degradation is taking place in mitochondrial membrane. So compartmentalization. So if, if suppose you think fatty acids are synthesized in cytoplasm and same way the beta oxidation is also taking place in cytoplasm, what happens? So the way the moment the fatty acid synthesizes, it will undergo degradation. So as beta oxidation located in mitochondria there is a rigid wall of mitochondria which prevents the enzymes of beta oxidation to enter into cytosol so whatever the fatty acid synthesis i mean like fatty acid synthesis in cytoplasm are safe okay and based on the cell need and these fatty acids will be transported to mitochondria for degradation to provide energy right so cytoplasm is rich of proteins and enzymes of glycolysis and fatty acid synthesis so the metabolic functions of overall subcellular organelles to summarize like nucleus is useful in DNA replication and transcription. You know transcription is nothing but synthesis of mRNA from DNA and endoplasmic reticulum biosynthesis of proteins, glycoproteins, lipoproteins, drug metabolism, ethanol oxidation and synthesis of cholesterol. Lysosome degradation of proteins, carbohydrates, lipids and nucleotides. Mitochondria, to say about uh, electron transport chain, ATP generation, TC cycle, beta oxidation of fatty acid, keto, ketone bodies production, urea synthesis, part, only the part of reactions, few reactions are taking place in mitochondria and hemosynthesis also few reactions and other things, other reactions taking place in cytosol. Gluconeogenesis is also same way, few reactions are taking place in mitochondria, few will be outside mitochondria and pyrimidin synthesis is also same and cytosol like Protein synthesis, glycolysis, glycogen metabolism, HMP shunt, transamination, fatty acid synthesis, heme synthesis, urea synthesis, pyrimidine synthesis and purine synthesis. So these are all the overall function of subcellular organelles. To sum up, if you remember this chart, so most of the functions of subcellular organelles have been covered, right? And to come up with uh, like other way, when you compare a cell with a factory, like Plasma membrane, you can say it is a fence with gates, gates open when message is re received. That means if a factory, okay, so there is a gate, what happened if uh, like suppose uh, any production factory, okay, like uh, cloths. So what happened once the cloths are been stitched, okay, if they get order from outside, they will dump all the ordered material into the lorry and they will allow to pass through the gate. Same way plasma membrane is like a gate. Okay, so like fencing and nucleus, it's like manager's office. So based on cellular need, yes, they will take the order based on the order, how much amount of order has to be processed. So that will be by nucleus and endoplasmic reticulum. It's like conveyor belt of production. 
units golgi apparatus is like packing units lysosome is like incinerators like quality check if anything is like uh, qualityly disqualifying so they will take out all right and vacuoles that means larys carrying finished products and mitochondria power is like boiler which is generating power right to run the machinery you required power and that power generated by the boiler so here the power generator is mitochondria so this way you can sum up the or compare the functions of subcellular organelles in a cell and to say about uh, for exam point of view you can say marker enzyme so what are the marker enzymes so as i mentioned earlier marker enzymes what are there for nucleus the enzymes which are involved in dna replication okay they are acting as a marker for nucleus and for endoplasmic reticulum the enzymes which are involved in protein synthesis are like uh, glycoprotein synthesis lipoprotein synthesis and lysosomes like involved in degradation of uh, like acid phosphatase mitochondria the enzymes of krebs cycle electron transport chain cytosol the enzymes of hmp shunt glycolysis all these are acting as a marker enzymes so exam point of view this is a question you may expect okay otherwise individual subcellular organelle they will ask okay so that's all about cell and subcellular organelles in biochemistry part thanks for listening